All right, this is my 1970 Torino with a small block Chevy. What I did was uh, I blew the Cleveland up, so I figured I'd do something a little different. So I built this small block, and uh, I advised no one to do it because it's too much work. And uh, had to go with stock manifolds because my headers didn't work. Go to my um, bastion on the header video, you'll see the deal with all that. That's what I got going on with those. So it's not pretty. But I do get it. Uh, I do plan on getting exhaust ran in the future. But anyway, it has flat tops. It's a six sound CC combustion chamber. Uh, I got an angle cam EP46. Um, duration at 50 is a 230, 489 lift on exhaust and intake. Got a um, polished aluminum pulley kit. Just to uh, make it look a little better. Aluminum radiator for cooling. Had to go with, put an electric cooling fan on there. And uh, got a Holly 654 barrel. Might step that up a little bit. HEI distributor. And that's pretty much it for a motor, you know. It's a motor. It gets up and goes pretty good. I still got to do a little adjusting on it. But the rest of the car got Keystone Classics. I got 225 60 15s on the front. And on the back, I got 295 50 15s on the back. I just got a um, stock uh, suspension in the back. I got all new suspension in the front. Got traction bars. Then on the inside, I got a bench seat out of another Torino that I need to get recovered. I had a uh, cheap buckets in it before from eBay that I didn't put in. Then this back seat's leather and it came out of another Trino also and it don't need to be recovered because it it's pretty much in mint condition. Got uh, some speakers back there. Dome light has a little place in it but I'm not too concerned. And then I got I had to take away my power steering so it's a little wrenching right now until I get it back. Automatic BM shifter. Hopefully four speed one day. Got the clock. Needs to be hooked up. Got my C D player in here. Now let's go to the, the back of the car. I open the trunk up for you. It's a little dirty. Right now I'll just drop my keys. Alright. Got my amp. It's got a few items back here that still needs to go in the car. Like these exhaust tips. I got cutouts on the exhaust. So I'm just going to run the cutouts to uh the side right before the tire right here get those pipes coming out the side right there and have down pipes on the mufflers under the car but it it's pretty clean in here too there ain't much rust on this car closes nice and easy still need to put my hood on the front of the car needs some body work Needs a, it really needs a good paint job on it. But it's come along. I'm going to crank it up. Just don't mind uh, the, all these exhaust leaks that's going on right now. Because those stock manifolds didn't seal up too good. So I got a bunch of exhaust leaks up there. Where the manifold comes down into... You know, it has three bolts bolting the pipe onto the manifold. And, you know, it, it leaks pretty bad, so just bear with it. It sounds like junk right now. Yeah, 
you up in here in the Gulf Lake, especially down there where it's actually leaking. If it's actually coming out of the mufflers, it'd sound pretty decent. Oh, it sounds pretty good back here. I don't know how well y'all can hear that, but that's my 1970 Trino. Thank y'all for watching.